What's up everyone, uh, Karu here from iTennis HQ, hope you guys are doing great. And in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about a common problem I see with a lot of intermediate to advanced players, uh, where they obsess too much about technique because they believe that great technique uh, is going to make them win more matches, which is definitely not the truth. And again, this video is aimed at intermediate to advanced players who feel like they're not leveling up their, their game and they end up obsessing about their techniques and their, their confidence just goes downhill because of it. So uh, I wanna tell you a little bit about uh, the problems with that uh, and some of the ways you can fix it. So let's get to it. And before we begin, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. It really helps us uh, continue to put, put good content out for you guys. And we really appreciate it. So let me start by saying that I'm not trying to dismiss learning good technique. That's a very important thing, especially when you're starting to play tennis. The first, the first few years of playing tennis is almost all about learning the right technique because again, it's really hard to just pick up a racket and swing. But I see a lot of intermediate players and high level juniors and even like parents of high level juniors um, obsessing over technique all the time. And they associate the fact that they might not be winning as much to my technique is not good enough. And that's completely not true. I've been in so many calls with parents that will say, I don't understand how he lost that match. His technique is so much better than the other kids. Like he should be winning that match every time. And all I can tell them is like, look, technique doesn't win matches. Good technique does not win matches. There's plenty of other things during a tennis match that are more important than good technique um, in order for anyone to win. So here's what I want you to understand. Technique is incredibly hard to master and it's also in constant change. You, like if you look at any player, um, you know, Roger, Rafa, Novak, Djokovic, you, you watch them play 10 years ago, their technique has evolved. It hasn't necessarily fundamentally changed, but it keeps evolving. The goal is to keep evolving when you're working on your, your technique. But if you obsess over it and you don't have the time to uh, spend, again, hours and hours on court, your confidence is gonna go downhill because you're always kind of trying to do something different, um, but you, again, you're not putting in enough hours, um, especially again, for you intermediate players who are playing a couple times a week, you're not like a junior who's um, always on the court for hours and hours. And these days we can Google how to hit my forehand uh, like Feather, and you're gonna see a ton of videos online uh, teaching you how to create more lag on your forehand, all this really, hard things that like m even advanced players struggle with and you go on the court once or twice a week and you're trying to to emulate that and it's going to be incredibly hard to do on your own and second when the match is on if you're thinking about where your racket is being placed and all this a million things that are on your mind um as the ball is coming to you you're gonna, you're gonna struggle and your confidence again is gonna go down. So obsessing over it um, is not really going to make you a better player. Again, there's, there's always things we can learn from it, from watching Feather, from watching Novak, from watching anyone. Um, there's a couple of things that you can pick up on it, but if you obsess over your technique all the time, it's gonna make you um, struggle during tennis matches. So let me give you an example. I'm an intermediate golf player. I love playing golf. It's my sport of choice outside of tennis. And much like you guys, I, I research uh, online ways of improving my golf game, right? And in most of those searches, I'm looking for ways to improve my swing because I believe that will make my golf game better and lead me to better scoring. But the reality is it won't because I'm not on the course or training uh, as much as I I would like to and as much as I should in order to make swing changes. For, I'm, I'm, I go to the driving range maybe once every two weeks or something like that. That's not enough time to constantly making adjustments to my swing. The smarter way for me to improve my, my scoring would be putting more, working on my short game more instead of going into the driving range and bombing drivers all the time. So it's very similar to tennis. You can look online and, and try to find a way to add 20 miles per hour to your serve and all these fancy techniques to add more spin to your, to your shot and this and that. But most likely, if you're not a high level junior, a high level college player and a, and a pro, uh, you're not spending that much time on the court. And 
if for you to master those things, you need to put in the hours. Um, so it, it's a really fine line between making the adjustments on your on your stroke and you know improving your technique slowly, but at the same time not making drastic adjustments all the time. Um, so you never know where you're gonna get when you're on the court. So in golf, they say swing your swing. Instead of trying to emulate someone else, you gotta learn how your brain works uh, in order to get that ball flying uh, however you do it. And in tennis, it happens the same way. There's so many, look at all the top 100 guys. How many pros have what, what you would say, um, not like a conventional technique, right? They um, think about Kashinov, maybe Medvedev, even Jack Sock. Uh, there's even, you know, even Rafa, like no one really teaches anyone how to hit over their, their head like that, but they make it work that way. Um, their brains make it work that way. And I think you should be thinking about that. How, um, how can I make my ball go deeper um, on the court um, just by using what I have, like my technique? Um, obviously, there are certain things that you need to, to focus on, your foot, footwork, your base, your body turn, all those kinds of things. But um, the way you're gonna swing your racket, it's always gonna be different from the person next to you. So you, you gotta be comfortable with that. And when you learn who you are on the tennis court and the way you like to play, um, it will be easier to optimize your training to that. Because again, um, you, don't have, you might not have the time to be on the court uh, for hours and hours and hours to fix everything on your game. So you need to learn how to win with what you have and optimize what you have. Um, so this is really important uh, for, for, again, intermediate players out there who can't spend too much time on the court, um, but they end up obsessing too much about technique and Googling a million things. And when they're on the court, their minds are racing and they're not really focusing on the right things. So now that we talked about how obsessing over technique might be bringing your confidence down, here are some of the things I believe you should be focusing on. Number one, improving your footwork. I think a lot of technique deficiencies can be traced back to poor footwork. So once you, once you actually improve the way you move around the court, you see that tennis becomes much easier. So pay attention to your footwork a little extra and you see how much better you do. Number two, improving your contact. Um, we all swing the racket differently, but we have the same goal, kind of like hitting the ball in front of us, making sure uh, we finish up here. But the, what we do on our take bags um, almost doesn't really matter as much um, as long as you have good contact. Again, we go back to, to guys who are in the pro tour that you watch them play, you're like, wow, that's not necessarily the best technique, but they make it work. Um, obviously, if your technique is too bad, um, you're gonna struggle with this, but you might actually not have that terrible of a technique, but you are struggling with your contact point. You're thinking too much about what's happening in the back, but not thinking as much what's happening here in the front and making good contact and making a good finish. So make sure you're actually focusing more on making good contact than actually uh, the your take back. Number three, um, improve your fitness. Uh, sometimes uh, your technique might be good uh, while you're still fresh but as the match goes on and your legs get tired your body gets tired you're not strong enough anymore on your upper body or maybe your lower body your technique starts to go away and then you come out of the match thinking oh my technique just let me down today but it wasn't it was just your your fitness level so improving your fitness is really important and number four is play a lot of matches learning how to navigate a tennis match takes a long time for most of intermediate players even like close advanced players um you haven't you spend years and years just playing a lot of a lot of matches. Uh, so having to deal with nerves, having to deal with how you're playing that day, having to deal with how your opponent's playing, with the conditions, if there's wind, all this stuff. Um, it takes time to be in those scenarios all the time, and it's not good technique that is gonna help you f through adversity. But it's understanding how you navigate um, those issues. Um, how do you play when it's for all dues? How do you play when it's uh, when you're in a lead? How do you play when you're behind uh, the scoreboard? All those things uh, you have to learn about yourself. So if you're again an intermediate 
player who hasn't played that many matches. Um, you just need to go out and compete. Fo focus on your technique when you're on the court practicing. But once you start a match, you gotta you gotta compete and you gotta be tough, and and that's what's gonna help you win more matches. Not necessarily oh because I have a prettier back and that's that's what's gonna make me win more matches. So there you have it. Next time you're on the court, try to focus a little bit less on your technique and try to find a good swing thought for each stroke. On your serve, maybe it's a little higher toss. On your forehand, focusing on your shoulder turn. On your back end, might be uh, your footwork. There's, there's plenty of things that you can think about without bringing your confidence down and without being too technical that you just don't have time to think about um, during a match. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. If, if, and if you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Um, we really appreciate it. And visit MyTennisHQ.com. We have a lot of new articles. Uh, I think we put out three, four new articles this past week. Uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy that. And let us know in the comments below what you're struggling with the most during a tennis match. And we'll try to help you out. And I'll see you guys on the next one.